Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk continuing with our permutations and combinations lessons. Now the central question that we want to answer during this tutorial is how many different ways are there of arranging three random letters without any letters being repeated? So let me define let me give you an example of what this question means. So we pick three random letters from the alphabet, okay, and we write it out uh, in order like this A, B, C, that's one arrangement, A, B, D, that's another arrangement, A, B, E. So just any three random letters. So here I have provided you with six arrangements. You can think of another three yourself just any other three letters in the alphabet for example J Q K it doesn't matter or Z Y Q it doesn't matter if they are not in alphabetical order just any three letters but you don't want um, a repetition so for example you can't have A A B that's that's not part of um, that's not part of the problem so we're not allowed to use that but any three letters in the alphabet so you write out the arrangements now how many arrangements are there now when we do these problems you can think of permutations as the same word as arrangement so when the question says how many arrangements are there it's the same thing as saying how many permutations are there permutation um, means that the order is important now what that means is for example A B C is different to BCA even though they contain the same letters okay but because we ordered them differently they count as two arrangements two uh, permutations or in other words two ways of arranging so how many ways are there of arranging three random letters? How many permutations are there? Now we're going to solve the problem by drawing a tree diagram because it's going to be a bit hard for you to write out all the different combinations. Right? It'll take you forever. So if you draw a tree however, then what happens is the first letter you have 26 options. You can start with A, B, C, okay, 26 options, but we're not going to write all of them out. But anyway, we have Z in the end, and there's 26 options. And then let's say we select any of these. It doesn't matter which one you select because once you have selected it when you pick the second letter when you pick the second letter you only have 25 options remaining right because you can start with A and then go down to B but you can't pick C again because we don't want repetition right in our original question it says without repetition so therefore we can't have C again we go to D E F G all the way to Z so therefore we have 25 options or 25 ways and then the third letter let's say we pick C A and how many options can I extend from this node? 
I can't use A again, but I can use B. I can't use C again, I can use D, E, F, G, all the way to Z. So then I only have 24 options. Okay, and basically every single option from the beginning after the first letter, you're going to have 25. And then every single node from the second letter to the third letter, you're going to have 24. So therefore, the number of ways is 26 times 25 times 24. And if you put that in the calculator, the answer is going to be 15,600 ways. 15,600 ways of writing out three letters from the alphabet, where each way has a different arrangement, different order, and no letters are repeated. Okay, so it's all good doing it out of a tree diagram, but we want a faster way. We don't have to draw a tree every single time. So the general formula for doing this, the general formula is when you are, uh, the number of arrangements when R things are chosen from N things is given by this formula. So that's essentially what we're doing. We're picking R things out of n things. We're picking three letters from 26 letters. Right? And how many different arrangements can we have? So this is the formula. NPR equals n factorial over bracket n minus r factorial. Now, because n is 26, we're picking from 26 letters. r is 3, we have to pick 3 letters out of 26. So you put 26 where n is in the formula, and you put 3 where r is in the formula. And now we have to write the factorial, factorials out to simplify it. But you could just do it in the calculator. You could just go 26 factorial over 23 factorial. And it will give you the answer in the calculator. But just so that we show you why it's the same, um, 26 factorial is 26 times 25 times 24 times 23 and so on times 1. 23 factorial is 23 times 22 times 21 dot 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 times 1. Now both the top and the bottom of the fraction has 23 times 22 all the way down to times 1. Right? These two numbers are the same. And when the same number divides by itself, you can cross them out and change it to 1. Because any number divided by itself is 1. So therefore the answer is the same as what we had previously, which is 15,600. Now, what I'm going to show you now is how to type this in the calculator. So this is a Casio FX83ES calculator and the factorial button is located just above X uh, inverse X. This is where the factorial button is. So if you press uh, on the calculator, if you press on the calculator 26 and then press the shift key and then press the factorial button and then you press uh, divide which is this one here divided by 23 sorry it's kind of hard watching this 23 and then the shift key 
factorial and then you press equals it gives you 15600 zero, zero. but the easiest thing to do is just use the formula uh, MPR MPR so actually let me just write it out again so MPR here we want um, 26 P 3 okay because N is 26 and R is 3 so 26 P 3 so if you're gonna use type that in your calculator all you're gonna do is put in there 26 where is the P button on your calculator well that's actually shift shift times and that brings up the P key and then you can just press 3 and press equals and you get 15600 okay so that's done okay um, do I have a simple problem so you guys should now find this extremely easy now four house captains are chosen from 200 students how many possibilities are there well because um, the four house captains each house has a different name so it'll be different for example if you place John in the house captain of let's say Gryffindor or whatever you call them uh, compared to putting John in Slytherin right so it depends on um, who you put on which house so uh, the ordering is important so we use permutation so permutation is NPR um, N is 200 R is 4 so it's 200 P4 and you just put that in your calculator I just showed you how to type it in so I'm not gonna do that again but if you just put in 200 P4 on your calculator you will get 15524388800 which is a pretty crazy number of arrangements Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.